Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> that was good. We both knew what we were talking about. I feel like I'm wearing the same pair of jeans I wore last week. It's funny. I feel like I'm wearing the same pair of pants I wore last week. Man, we really got to change. How's nah. it going? Good. You excited about Thanksgiving? It's the most, second most wonderful time of the year. Uh, right? Yeah, I've got some fun Thanksgiving stories. Yeah? For tonight, yeah. Oh, I can't wait. Yes, you can. Okay, I will. You'll have to. Welcome to Whiskey Bits with Matt and Phil, where we sip on everyday whiskeys and find the funny in our everyday lives. We have something different today. We do. So, one of my favorite things about Thanksgiving is actually the Black Friday release of the Bourbon County Stout from... Goose Island here oh. in Chicago. Oh, I didn't know where Bourbon County, what, what it was from. I didn't know. You didn't know that this was from Goose Island? I would No, I didn't. I was thinking okay. for some reason I thought Buffalo Trace in my head. I don't oh. know. Oh, yeah. No, so the Goose Island um, has been doing these, these stouts for going on 15, 16 years, something like that. Might be even oh. up to 20. So this one... So I, I've got I brought a couple. Okay, of different you have two ones different, ones, different ones. Yeah, I've got two different ones here. Okay, and um, yeah, so I'm I'm kind of excited to share these with you because I don't know that we've I, we probably had. Some, I have but. not had these two. So what I've got here is the 2021. Oh, okay. So the 2021 brand 14 stout. So this is a stout aged in rye whiskey barrels oh. with cassia bark, cacao nibs, cacao. What did I say? Cacaya. Like cacao. 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 Cocoa nibs. Chocolate nibs. Panela. No. Nope. And coconut water. <laughs> coconut water. Yeah, that's what this one was. Weird. So this is an homage. Ah, oh, fancy word. I don't know what that means. A throwback. Throwback. To their very first proprietor stout. So the the prop is what um many know. Huh. this as and it's kind of their um their signature their signature bottle okay okay um, so this is a throwback to the first one that they had now that's that specific 14 bottle 14 years prior to this release which was 2021 which was a few years ago right so 14 years from 2021 uh before so yeah 2007 mm -hmm. mm. okay mm. i can do math okay math is good and then so I will I will pour this one into here, and if you're okay with it, we'll just kind of share glasses. Dude, yeah. Then we, okay. we're gonna what are we doing? Something we're having something else. You brought something else later for off yeah. camera. It's yeah. gonna burn it away anyway. It's gonna burn it all off. Yeah. All right. You hand it, or do you want to read this one? No, you read it because okay, I, I, I don't know. That. That. I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> okay, no problem. So this is Bourbon County Stout. This is the Biscotti Stout from 2022. That. Oh, it's a so, year later than 2021. I know how much you love Christmas. I and love Biscotti Christmas. Biscotti just reminds me a Biscotti. lot of it. Biscotti. Biscotti. Can I tell you something real quick? Yes. Real quick. We used to travel around to these food shows and uh, for, for work. And one of the shows was a dog show. And this guy, I always remember, anytime I hear Biscotti, he had this thing at a dog trade show. I think I told you this before. Mm -hmm. It was called... Bark Scotty, Biscotti for dogs. But uh, he was from Jersey, so he was like, Bark Scotty, Biscotti for dogs. It's Biscotti for dogs. Biscotti for dogs. I don't know. Anytime I hear Biscotti, I think, Bark Scotty, Biscotti for dogs. I love Anyways, it. I ahead. love it. Okay. Notes of Marazapan. We'll cut that. Marazapan? Marazapan. What the heck is that? Ma uh, Marzapan? That's what I meant to say. Marazapan. Like Jason Marazapan? <laughs> I'm the worst at reading. Things. You can't read words. And you were worried about messing it up. I know. You're just royally screwing this up. C -c 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 cacao. Cacao. No, it's c it's cacao. What is it? How do you spell it? C O C O C O A. That's cocoa, Phil. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Why is there an extra A at the end? Because it's cocoa. Why am I? It's not Coco Chanel or Coco, uh, whatever the heck her name is. Coco. Isn't there a singer Coco? Isn't isn't there a movie? Yeah. Coco? Yeah. C O C O. Oh yeah. Okay. Buttered toffee Ooh. and black licorice. Oh. Just wait. That might ruin it for me. Just wait. So this one was released in 2022. Um this one was aged in bourbon barrels. Again, with the cocoa nibs, cacao nibs, <laughs> toasted almonds, anise seed. Uh-huh. Which is where the 
black that's where the black from. licorice is and come natural from. flavors have you heard of ouzo ouzo i think is what it's called Mm-mm. it's that like greek liquor and it is essentially just black licorice clear yeah. black licorice liquor yeah and i was at like some party or maybe it's a mexican thing i don't know these guys my buddies from college their family is mexican and so mm-hmm. they had this and it was like this thing that you're supposed to sip it yeah i didn't know what the heck it was i'd never really drank so they're like here here you go we're gonna celebrate if it's a wedding so we're gonna celebrate and they give it to me and i'm like oh, i guess you know they give it to me in a shot glass i'm like oh I, okay so i just whoo they're like whoa 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 whoa, whoa. Yeah, you're not supposed to do that yeah. you're supposed to sip it it was horrible this is all black licorice well this isn't all black licorice I think you're like you okay. This. Are you dying? <laughs> Good <laughs> lord! I think you're like this. You want an antacid or something? Have you ever poured a stout? No. Okay. So I'm mess this up. You know, typically when you're pouring a beer, you want to try to keep the head whatever. This one, you want more head. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Wait, wait. Let me be a uh, twelve-year-old boy for a second. <laughs> 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 okay i'm good <laughs> still there to achieve more head just pour it in <laughs> just put it in pour it in fast okay and and quick and then oh do you want to turn it to, no don't turn it because that'll release the nitrogen up to the top no you want the we'll spill the head okay so just dump it in there and then on yourself <laughs> <laughs> how did you mess this up <laughs> And I did a good job. I stopped. I mean, look at that. I got lazy and stopped. I can already smell. It's fine. It'll. The <sighs> bugs will get it later. Oh, gosh. I got stuff on the bottom. I mean, I was fine drinking out of it before, but now you're like mouthing the bottom of the glass. Seriously. Well, we got a lot of head, though. Get a room. <laughs> look at all the head in the bottle. Yeah. Did I do okay? You did great. That was you a good did, one? It was okay. Uh, normally, you'd want like a little bit more, but it's okay. It, All right. Like, it, you didn't mess it up. It's just now it's been sitting. So, cheers to a happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. The warmest part of my day. It's the most warmest part of my day. Isn't that really good? Incredible. Yeah. So, they I release... Love stouts, though. Somewhere in the neighborhood of, of five to seven bottles every year, different variants, including their kind of their standard, they oh. just call it the Bourbon County Stout. It's just kind of the Bourbon County Stout. But So each year it's a different type. Each year they have a kind of a different either theme or whatever, but they do mm-hmm. some different things. They've done a lot of barley wine. They've done a bunch of, uh, of other, um, you know, collaborations with Larceny, with uh-huh. Eagle Rare, with, oh. um, you know, they have done some Buffalo Trace. They, yep. I remember seeing that one. So they've done, you know, they've done some, some collaborations with the the folks in the Bourbon, in Bourbon County, but, um, Dude. these are kind of just their, their various, uh, their variations on, on bottles. So this is freaking good. good I'm right? definitely getting the almond for mm-hmm. sure. Mm-hmm. Um, biscotti. Yeah. I mean, that's where that biscotti is coming from the mm-hmm. almond. Um, yep. Butter toffee. I'm really not getting black licorice it's okay you yeah. know what you just, just you know no you one's gonna see it put it in the wash and it just looks like you peed a little bit you know on the Not seat even actually it looks like you maybe had a little uh little uh a little fun a little back action there oh happening on the ground oh it leaked a little nice and it's okay it's just white it's fine <laughs> oh, man um i feel bad no don't feel bad this was i didn't feel that bad okay oh pretty good though huh fantastic i'm not not getting the anise at all which i'm thankful for yeah would you like to try yes. some of the 14 would you like to try some of the of course i love the biscotti the 12 that's not what it was no, at that's all. not a thing this is like a oh okay do you nose it i like to smell it just to see what i can smell i mean it's kind of our thing i like stouts like i'm either a really light beer guy or a stout guy i am not a pale ale guy india pale ale sorry sam but i'm not our buddy Sam, he's obsessed with him. Tastes like Christmas. Just oh, it, it does. reminds me of Christmas. That's fantastic. Isn't that good? It's really good. It tastes like chocolate milk, right? It kind of does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would say it's more of a chocolate. Yeah, it's more of a light chocolate. Yeah. I could kind of get 
maybe see where the cocoa or mm-hmm. not the cocoa the coconut coconut water maybe yeah. maybe a little bit it's mm-hmm. kind of almost got like a lighter yeah the big one for this was the cassia bark oh i guess i don't know what that would taste like it tastes like whatever you're drinking like the bark from the cassia tree right um, whatever that tastes like but that was the one that's that's like the their signature flavor for this for this one comes from the cassia bark whatever yes. i don't know it's very good yeah it's really tasty they've got a they've got another one that's made with figs they call it the, the sir isaac newton stout <laughs> that's so cool right See, this is how, and I think I like stout because I love coffee, and mm-hmm. I, and to me, the stout always has more of a coffee kind of feel to it. I don't know mm-hmm. what that is, if it's the bitterness or, um, but yeah, I mean, this is fantastic, dude. Yeah, I really, I think that I love more, just because. Well, I mean, I don't want to take it away. We should have had maybe four glasses. Um, no, I think <sighs> I Sorry. like. No, 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 I like this one more. Yeah. Yeah, it does yeah. taste like Christmas. Man, Thanksgiving, Christmas, fantastic time. <laughs> you said Black Friday, and then you said Thanksgiving. So I want to hear your <clears throat> Thanksgiving story. Okay, so I, I... But I want to talk about Black Friday, too, because I love it. Okay. I'm one of All the right. crazies. Well, I didn't know that they would release these every year on Black Friday. I now love Black Friday, too. Really? Because yes. of that? Yeah. But this is the only thing I do. You just go, I go get this. I go get beer. Yeah. That's amazing. So I want to hear about your Black Friday. No, I don't. I can't I, be. I go. Friday. I go to. I go to wherever they're. Wherever they have it. it. Yeah, I've seen a kind at Jewel. Hmm. But I don't think it was the any of these. I mean, you just have to buy one or two of every bottle every time that they release them, and have then it. you have it. Yeah. Which is, is kind of what I do. Did you have that since 2021 though? Yeah. And it's okay. It is. Um. So there's a. So this one actually, unlike bourbon. These develop in the bottle up to five years. So there are some folks that will buy five bottles or whatever, and they'll just do a they'll do a progressive tasting and huh. say, all right, over well, the years. Yeah, let's yeah. taste it, you know, every Is year because of five the, years. the yeast in it, maybe, or you would know more than I would. Yeah, I but that's, I did. That's try, a big that's a big thing. I tried to make it. hard cider once and it was an epic. Yeah. Fail. Yeah, no, that's exactly that's exactly right. Yeah, it, it continues to age in the bottle like wine, like wine. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, but pretty tasty, huh? It's very good. Yeah. So, so Black Friday, you, Black you, Friday, I, I'll go this. around. Yeah, we'll 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 go around. I I used to do this with a friend. We would go and buy the full thing. Yeah, at our local um, Antioch Fine Wine and Liquor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they would um, they would do a couple of pours that would come with it from right from the tap. Oh, nice. Um, so you'd be able to leave with a sample and then you would have one of every variant and then maybe a couple, two or three of just the standard. You could buy one of every variant? You would buy a package. Oh, okay. And it would come with every single one and then you go nice. pick it up on. I kind of want to do that with you. This year, get this. You're we can buy. We, no, no, no. <laughs> we can buy tickets ahead of time and we can go down to Chicago and they have a sampling of all. All of the oh variations. Oh my goodness! And you get bottles to bring home. Oh my goodness! Ahead of Black Friday. Oh, which is kind of cool. Yeah, that's crazy. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. So, I'll send you. I'll send you the link. Actually, send me the link. Should we post the link? Man, no, it's, it's going to be over by then. Yeah, but go find these uh, in a few days. Yeah, because uh, this they, is coming out. The Tuesday, you're going to find them the, the closer you are to the closer you are to Chicago, the more likely you're to find them pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, as you get further and further away from Chicago, they, it just takes a couple more days to get out right, there. Right, because they're local to here. Yeah. Huh. Exactly. Dude, I love Black Friday. Yeah. I remember when it was like the crazier, which I, I think that that's people are. It really shows you how selfish and crazy people are. Mm-hmm. Like it really like. It's insane. I the the one cr- the crazy one that I went to was like when I had first gotten married. We uh, and this was like a t. I still have the TV in the basement. Really? Yeah, I still have it. Um, but it was like a eleven hundred dollar TV. No, it was a seven hundred dollar TV, and that was the deal. It, but you know, with tax, it was like eight hundred whatever. But like I remember, and there was a Blu-ray player I was getting with it, and people were rushing the Blu-ray. Uh, palette 
and there was a guy standing on it that worked there and it was like literally like you ever see like the pr- video of a steak going in a piranha thing and then like the piranhas just like attack it mm-hmm. it was that but people but people wanting a blu-ray, blu-ray player players. <laughs> which you can go get at any time anywhere but they were like yeah. 20 bucks or something right i literally just walked up and i said i'm not going to be one of these people I kind of was because I was there, but like, I'm not going to be pushing anybody or whatever. And I just walked up, I put my hand up like this and the guy put one in my hand and I grabbed it. <laughs> like that's, that was, that was as crazy. Yeah. That was as crazy as I got. But I love just like, I love like window shopping and just like walking mm. around. And so I'll go to like, cause my big thing is movies and finding the movie deals. The best deal I ever got was Lord of the Rings extended edition on blu-ray the full trilogy on Mm blu-ray for seven dollars and 99 cents i think it was a mistake yeah i think it was a mistake because i took it because i was like there's no way it was at target like there's no way that this is seven dollars and 99 cents because it was before 4k i took it to the person i was like hey is this legit like they scan it like yeah They're like wow that's kind of crazy i was like yeah i couldn't believe it now you can go to goodwill <laughs> and, and buy find the that exact blu-ray D- for 7.99 for 7.99 well right. that's what i mean it was brand yeah. new in the box sealed i was like oh my goodness wow as if it matters because we just stream everything yeah now way. we stream everything isn't that crazy well i think so we we definitely have some fun you know black friday stories mm-hmm. um but Thanksgiving, man. What, Just, what do you? Yeah, what is your good stuff? What's your Thanksgiving? Uh, I have what? experienced a wide variety of Thanksgiving oh. traditions uh, through the years, and um, you know the the typical one when you when you get married. Obviously, growing up as you know, kids, your family comes over, whatever. Uh, your kids come over when you do Thanksgiving, like. You just kick them out, and then they come back over. No, no, no. When you're kid, when you're a kid. Oh, okay, gotcha. Like <laughs> as we were growing up, we have kids. We're still together. We just don't let them live in the house. It's just a lot of work. They're young. They're young. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. They live in the forest. When we were kids, obviously <laughs> we'd have family come over. Yeah. Right, extended family, and Chaos. it's it's just yeah, this the, the turkey and the stuffing and all the all the food and. And maybe some football and some board oh. games. Board games were huge when we were kids. Okay. Um, when we were when I was a kid and uh, my cousins. No, when were we kids. were kids. When you were a kid. Yeah, we were cool. there together. So, yeah, we were brothers from another mother. Another mother. So uh, yeah, that was that was a big like that was big, but like growing up, like growing up, getting married, moving out, like doing your own thing. Um, we started with that tradition. Do you host? Now? Yeah. Like, do you? host? So I have to tell the whole story. Oh. Please be patient. Um, so what we did so for a long, long time, story like my is mom so would, long. my mom would host, <laughs> okay. my mom would host. Okay. And so we would go over there or whatever. Yeah. And um, one year I had a, uh, I had a, uh, a back injury oh. at work and I couldn't really move. So I didn't. And we had some friends bring some boston market do you remember boston market? oh yeah i just talked about this the other day we drove past when i was like ah boston market that? that's where people yeah. get shot yeah oh every boston market really yeah the people get shot didn't know that all the time but yeah so we had a friend bring boston market on thanksgiving day for us and we're good like, mac and cheese this is the thing we're gonna do <gasps> oh so then the next year i happened to be sick we did it again and then we decided we're not gonna do this anymore we're just gonna stay in and eat from Boston Market and watch James Bond movies. Why James Bond? <laughs> Why James, so James Bond? So the, like that's that the natural Thanksgiving movie. It's the go to. I got it. I got Thanksgiving. Tell you the reason. The reason why. Why? Is because one of these cable networks shows James Bond marathons. Really during so Thanksgiving. We, yeah. Interesting. So the whole weekend, not from, planes, trains, and automobiles. From Wednesday night, James Bond, all the way through Sunday night. Nothing but James Bond movies. I Sean Connery, yeah. Pierce Brosnan, all, of, all, all of the way them. through. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Favorite James Bond. Favorite James Bond. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing: nostalgia, Goldeneye for sure. Okay, nostalgia because of you know the game and all that. But like, I like the Daniel Craig Bond movies a lot. Yeah, I 
admittedly have not really seen any of the any of the ones Roger Moore. Yeah. Any, okay. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen those, but I okay. I need to. I, I think you need to see some of the later, like Sean Connery. Sean Connery is my favorite James Bond. Marty Prender. Yeah, my favorite. Anyways, so we, so that became the thing. Okay. And it so it's out, James Bond and Boston Market. Boston Market, a little bit of football here and there, just mix it in. Great. So we ended up calling it. Um, we ended. It ended up getting coined when we we got together with some friends, and they were like, "We want to do what you do," and like that kind of. Defeats, we want to be just like you. We it kind of defeats the purpose, but like we'll do this together. That's fine. Like it's just pajamas, and we're not going to dress up. You wear anything. pajamas too the whole day. <gasps> oh, I really want to like a onesie. Cool, do it. Should we get a onesie? I feel like we need together? to get a onesie. Yeah. No. Let's go onesie shopping. I'm actually okay with this. Yeah? yeah? Like with the the two buttons in the back and you pull it down and you're like, oh, I can go to the bathroom now. Poop. I poop now. Yeah. I was going to... No, there's no... There's <laughs> I'm no, wearing them now. There's no... You ha- oh, yeah, yeah. You've clearly <laughs> made a mess here, Phil. Wearing them now. I have to steam that out later. So, okay. uh, yeah, so that became what was known as the, um, the Stokes non-Thanksgiving... <laughs> Extravaganza. Oh my gosh, a couple that's years. awesome! And yeah, so it was, it was you fun. still do it's that? Do you still do Boston Market? There's no Boston Market around. No, here. no, no. So then we had this. Then we had kids. Oh, and they were and like, they ruined you know, it. They this, ruined it. It was like, well, we they want, made it better. We want to like. We, I got so much out of being around other family members with it. Like, let's go and and yeah. do that again. Yeah. And so, uh, we hosted when we lived down in Bloomington, we hosted once. It was one of the, my favorite Thanksgivings ever. Um, I got up at like five o'clock in the morning, was making Turkey and stuffing. Oh and, yeah. You, you know, cook rolls. It. You, and I did, I did everything. Nice. I did it. I, I, not everything. There was, there was some help, but I did a majority of it. And I was well, up at like five o'clock in the morning. By the time we were done eating, I laid down on the couch while everyone cleaned up and yeah. I was out for like That's the two best. hours. That's why you want to cook though, because then you don't have to clean. Then you don't have to clean yeah. up. That really, unwritten rule. I'd rather clean up. Really? Oh, forget yeah. that. I don't more hands. Me. No. I don't more hands helping clean up. That's true. So anyway, so we've hosted, um, we've gone places. Well, I gotta tell you, like the most special Thanksgiving, we had the most special Thanksgiving the last, our last Thanksgiving here oh, a year yeah, ago, yeah, yeah. a year yeah. ago. And we had... So it was at my mom's house. She hosted again. Nice. And we did, uh, we had uh, her sister, my aunt, and all of her kids. Kathy? Yep. Uh, all of her kids were all there. And uh, and we went around the table and just, we like, the cliche thing, like, what are we all thankful for? Yeah. But it was so special because, like, people actually opened up. That's and, like, good. actually did start, like, really sharing what they were thankful for for people around the table. Like it was like specific so hard for to do. around the table. Yeah. And, uh, and it was just, it was just a really, really special moment. Um, oh, that's awesome. You know, to kind of spend together. And as you know, that was the, it's the last Thanksgiving yeah. we had with my mom and at my mom's place. And so there's a lot, there's a lot there, but, um, that's kind of become the tradition. I don't know what it's going to look like from here this on year. Out. What are you gonna right? do this year? I'll well, start something new. I, it, that, it could be a good. conglomeration. I mean, great. certainly you want to take all the good things that you enjoyed about it, you know? Yeah. Um, there's a Boston market in like uh, Indiana. Yeah, just go. I mean, it's gonna get cold. Bring a yeah heater. No, I think the <laughs> the thing that the thing that intrigues me the most is like what's easy. Yeah, because like I, well, I I don't want I don't want Thanksgiving to be complicated. Right. Because that's when it becomes like I just don't. Let me tell do you this. about complicated Thanksgivings. Okay, Please, here's I want to hear. I want to hear you write. Your Look, guys I thing. go all out when I do something. Well, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to. No. Con- yeah. No. You, you. Yeah. You know, you'd be surprised. Yeah. I no, would. I, I would be. I look. Shocked. I look like I, I can't. Don't even try, but I, I actually <laughs> go big or go home. I, <laughs> With everything, I, I can't believe that as a comedian you go big or go home. Yeah, like, no, that doesn't yeah, make huge, any sense. Huge, to me. but. I my I favorite turkey. I'll tell you my favorite of each of the things. Okay. My favorite turkey, deep fried. Yeah, I deep fried it. I watched Elton Brown on Good Eats. He showed you exactly how to do it because there's a lot of safety things you got to do. You got to do the water displacement test. You got to uh, cover the hose. You cover the hose, the gas hose, with aluminum foil in case there's anything that comes out and it doesn't melt the hose and then explodes. Um, a lot of fires happen in Thanksgiving because people are morons and they don't know how to do it. I did occasion injection wow. into the turkey that sounds delicious. i deep fried it, it that took, sounds so oh, good. it was it took 30 minutes to cook yeah uh it was the juiciest most flavorful the 
The skin was so crispy. It was amazing. Imagine. Best turkey ever. Have not been able to top it. I've tried. T- uh, last year was Jean Pierre, Chef Jean Pierre on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Look him up. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chef Jean Pierre Thanksgiving. I did every. Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Link it? No, I don't know. I'm too lazy. It takes a lot of work, man. You know what? Go big or go home. Let's link so it. So hard. No, I know. Uh, you could just drop an ad on Instagram. Just put an ad, it. yeah. I'll, maybe I'll do a TikTok about it. Uh, <laughs> no, so I did Chef Jean-Pierre Thanksgiving. I tried his turkey. I tried a bunch of other sides and stuff. I made a stuffing that was ridiculous. Mm. But I love to cook. I'm actually a yeah. really good cook. Yeah. Um, I cooked tonight, actually. I cooked some stuff tonight. But, uh, yeah, trying to just do different recipes and things but i'm really what one of my signature things i do is pumpkin pie i've been doing that every year yeah for years like 16 17 years and i get a real pie pumpkin and i actually roast it and i yeah like those small pumpkins that are they're called pie pumpkins it's they're they're not called pumpkin pies no they're not they're called pie pie pumpkins yeah oh Yeah, yeah The pumpkin pie is what you make it out of. Oh. But I roast it in the so oven. You don't get it out of a can? No, you can. <laughs> you can can. You can oh. can. You can can can. Uh, I make pumpkin pie, and it's so good. Um, what I'm not good at is crust making, but I think I might. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I'll do that this year. Maybe I'll make. But I'm usually the turkey gravy. Well, gravy. Dude, freaking giblet gravy. Mm-hmm. I make from scratch. Yeah. And uh, with like a little bit of flour. And oh, you yeah, well, you make like, the roux. Yeah, you make yeah. the roux and then you thicken it. You know, you can thicken it. You don't have to do that. You can use uh, cornstarch. We'll thicken it also. Oh, okay. Yeah, and without. In the gluten free family? Well, uh, well, you can use gluten free flour, but the cornstarch thickens it without uh, changing the flavor, I think, or something. Yeah. Got it. Um, but, anyways, so. Um, Speaking of changing flavors, just a real brief moment. Oh, okay. Um, you know how whiskey opens up, uh-huh. wine opens up when uh-huh. it gets, you know, air. This opens up when it gets warmer. Really? Yeah. No, I'm saying drink some. For not, those of you not listening, warm it in your put, crotch. I've put the beer bottle in between <laughs> my legs to attempt to warm it. I feel like a duck. Is this so, what a goose feels like when it's waiting for it to hatch? <gasps> You know what? It's going to hatch and it's going to be the most flavorful stout you've ever had. Because of you sitting on it. Yeah. I just want you to think through. I uh, did shower okay yesterday. But you should drink some of it is what I was saying. It's like oh. take a take a take a sip. Drink this? Well, you said to warm it. No, I'm saying it's gotten warmer since oh. we pulled it out of the fridge and poured it. You could have just said that it would have been easier. To I say. tried. I know I wasn't listening. Was it any better? It's really good. It tastes like a gingerbread house. Not really. I feel like I've wasted so much of your time. As the beer, like we typically would keep this right around 48, 49 degrees, up to 51 degrees. When you pull it out, pour it. Who are you talking to? Let it sit. To? I'm talking to our listener here oh, who, would like, like, who would like to know why I'm talking over about there? this. And, and then you let it warm up in your glass. It actually starts to taste a little bit better. Some of the flavors, the notes come out in the stout as it sits a little bit warmer. Anyways, are you carry done? On. My gosh. I mean, is this like a cooking class? I'm sorry. Didn't you that was just so tell mean. us about a cooking class that you took to make your turkey? And yeah. like you're talking about a roux and all of this Dude, stuff that uh, I don't even know how to spell. I love the food, but I don't want to clean it up. Yeah. So that's why you cook. Yeah. Also, you like cooking. I love cooking. Yeah. Yeah. So um, have you done Friendsgivings at all? No. Yeah. Because no. we host it. You host the Thanksgiving? Yeah, we host it here, which we have a 908 square foot. With your main so your floor. family comes here, yeah, hmm. and Madison's they'll come. We've had usually like fourteen people. Okay, and we set it up in the living room with all yeah. the tables. Yeah, that's nice. It's a good thing. I mean, it's, we, everyone pitches in. Yeah, yeah, that's really great. But yeah, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do this year. I got to start thinking about it. Okay, um, I, I I think I'll do a. I don't feel like I've done a pumpkin pie in, last year. I don't think I did one. Do you have pie pumpkins? <laughs> I should get some pie pumpkins. Not pumpkin pie pumpkins. No, no, pie pumpkins. Pie pumpkins. Right. Yeah, I'm going to get some. About the yay big. Is that your favorite pie? No. Key, uh, key lamb pie is my favorite. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I got to get pie pumpkins for the pumpkin pie. Not pie pumpkin pie. Pie pumpkin pie. But pie pumpkin. Yes. 
but I think I'm going to do, uh, I, I think this year, no, I'm going to do different. Cause I think I try to, I try to, uh, one it up. And so last year was Jean, Jean Pierre. There were things I liked about it, things I didn't, the gravy. Um, I, I do all the giblets and everything and I eat it. I'll eat like the heart and all that. I'll try the liver and stuff. Yeah, I'll do it. Indy. He ate some six year old. I was like, Oh, you want to try? He's like, oh, yeah. So he did. And I don't think he liked it. No, I don't think so. But the, um, the gravy I made last year was a lot of steps and they say not to use the drip pan juices. That's Why do they say that? He said that. Why? Because he... Because that is my favorite gravy. I know. And I tried it his way, and I gotta say, I like it the other way. I like it with the drip. <laughs> yeah, the drip pan, Because right? it's... The thing is, is it's a lot of just grease. Yeah. But it's a lot of flavor. Yeah. So, um... Like, if I could wring out the skin... Right. Of the... Right. Turkey. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, I think I will do that again. Wait a minute. How do you get a drip pan if you deep fry your turkey? Well, that year, no, we didn't. But this last year, I roasted the turkey, you know. Um, I did get this year. You want to switch it up? Try some of it. It's a little bit warmer. Okay. Did you put it in your crotch? No, oh. I just let it warm. Like Because right, it looks like you spilled a ton. Hey, it like blended in with the... Did it's you good. mop it up with your foot? No. Oh. Yes. I, I yes, asked, I did. You did? I don't even see I it. I did. I did it because I felt bad. Looks like you yammied all over the chair. Um, oh yeah, that's real good. It's better than it's it was kind before, of a right? nuttiness to it almost. It was better than it was before. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the but the gravy. So here's the thing with the gravy. Okay, the gravy. So, yeah, yeah. Keep telling um, me about the gravy. Yeah, it's just a big. That to me, the gravy is is. What is this? A cooking show? I know, but the gravy is a huge deal. It's the, it's biggest, the biggest deal. deal. <laughs> I got one of those pans. I got a cool pan where, like, <laughs> anyways. Um, Wait, what? I, no, no, tell me about the pan. No, the pan is, you know how you take the turkey out? It's like, you gotta, ah, uh, how do you get the turkey out of the pan? It's, yeah, but it's, mm-hmm. this pan has, you take these two steaks out, uh-huh. and then you pull it, and it's, the the rack itself comes apart, uh-huh. so, but you can move it with the rack, and then the rack comes apart, and then you don't have to, like, try to, because most people are taking the turkey and lifting it off the rack and putting it on a cutting board. Okay. To 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 clean it, because uh-huh. um, you don't want it to sit in all that grease and all that. Mm-hmm. Well, this the rack you can take the rack off. Yeah. Pull these two tongs out. The rack actually falls uh. apart. So you can. Yeah, it's easier to carry because I'm like, ah, you shove a spatula or whatever. Anyways, I, yeah, I have a I have a rack that you can take off. Yeah. And let it sort of, I don't know, cool. Yeah. Drain before you carve it, but then I have like. Large forks. Two grippers. Yeah. That go inside and you move it. It works. It works fine. It works fine. Yeah, I got a really good knife. I was excited about it. I got a good carving knife. A boning knife. Yeah. I learned how to... <laughs> <laughs> Really? That's Was it the same was it the same episode? We... I was not gonna I wasn't gonna laugh that Yeah, hard it is. It. It's the same episode. But I wanted I wanted to I wanted to boning. take a minute. We got <laughs> I said, wait, 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 wait. Out of all the, episodes, he, the Thanksgiving he, episode, <laughs> this is going to be the most dirty. Lots of head and boning, a boning knife. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about beer and turkey, people. Okay? Get your minds out of the... Have you ever had beer can turkey? Beer can chicken? I've never had either. It doesn't really do much. But the gravy. Okay. The gra- <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I cook the giblets. I cook all that stuff up. Mm-hmm. I, and and then uh, he, you know, he basically makes his was like he basically makes a, a, a stock. And and that is the juice. But the flavor of the stock probably would have had to. Hold on. I cooked it down a while. I probably need would have needed to put it either cook it down. I mean, I probably cooked it down for like four hours. Yeah. Four or six hours. Okay. To to concentrate the the broth, and then that broth is supposed to be, in his opinion, better than the juices because the juices is grease. It's really what it is, yeah. but it's flavored grease, and it's really good. So it's especially just, when you put all. I, I mean, do you? Yeah, go ahead. It's concentrated flavor, yeah. right? Like, yeah. yeah. 
now can you could probably go nuts but you're talking like uh, i think i had like uh, red wine i mean there's just so much stuff you're putting mm. in it and it was the flavor was good i just um i like the the greasy bits yeah i, I me too what's your favorite thanksgiving dessert What's your favorite uh, Thanksgiving dish? Whether it's turkey or a side, and mm-hmm. then what's your favorite dessert? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, um, <clears throat> favorite side or dish is um, we talked about the Boston Market, uh huh, the sweet potato casserole. Oh yeah, I made that at the one that I hosted. Hosted along with the like a copycat the- version of theirs. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, and it was like, it was like an entire pound of butter, of course. And it was maybe half a bag of brown sugar. <laughs> it was, but it was so stinking I gained good. Forty five pounds. It was so good. And um, like here's so here's what I did with the what I did with the turkey that I that I made was um, I actually didn't stuff it. I didn't put stuffing inside. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to. But like I didn't. It cooks. Quicker, it does cook faster yeah. without the stuffing inside. I spatchcocked it once. That's a real term, Phil. Head. So is what did boning? We say? Boning, <laughs> spatchcock. Um, to me, the like rosemary cooking inside of a turkey is oh, yeah. one of the best like aromas you can get. Mm-hmm. So I ended up sticking like an entire stick of butter and. Maybe three stalks of oh yeah of oh, rosemary in there, in yeah. there, and let it oh man that that made the best gravy, that yeah, made the best gravy because yeah. it had the rosemary in there anyway. Orange, rosemary, thyme, sage. Yeah, under oh. you put it put stuff under the skin. Yes, his last year was yes. literally like three pounds of butter. Like yes, it was just butter under the skin, yep. butter on top of the skin, yep. butter inside, yep. everywhere butter, and then basting it when like. Every well, his whole hours. thing was you didn't have to baste it because it was just butter. Oh, I basted it because I <laughs> just wanted can. to. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted more. More. Um, it was fantastic. And then you put the tent. or the, Anyway. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's not something I want to do every year, for sure. But It's a good thing it's once a year. It's a good thing it's once a year. Yeah, I could see. I could agree with that. Um, but to me, I'd rather just like make some steak out on the Blackstone. Yeah. And do uh, baked sweet potatoes. I'm kind of losing interest in sweet potatoes. We have it all the time. Nah, I love sweet potatoes. Mashed sweet potatoes, though. We do a mashed... So, sweet potato casserole. We do a mashed one with mm-hmm. orange zest, maple oh, yeah. syrup. Oh, yeah. I butter. think I've had that. Yeah, you've had it. It's so good. You brought it over once. Yeah, it's so good. I, yeah. I, that I like. Delicious. Uh, mother-in-law makes this, like, mushroom... or no, <laughs> Marshmallow. Very mm-hmm. different than mushroom. Marshmallow cranberry kind of, like, dessert yes. thingy. Yep. Really good. With pineapple, yeah. I think. Yeah. Uh, that's good. Mm-hmm. A good. I like a good green bean casserole if it's got the crunchies with it. Um, you know what? The turkey. Well, the gravy is usually my favorite thing. Because you just put that on everything. Because it's every. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Frank hot sauce. Yeah. The gravy and the sweet potatoes, but the stuffing. Eh, it's okay. Um, I made a really good stuffing this last year. Again, it was his recipe. But the turkey is always the one besides the fried turkey, the deep fried turkey. Eh, it's usually just kind of meh. Okay, it's turkey. Yeah. You know, and so... Yeah, yeah. that's why I'm saying, like, switch it up. I know. Beef roast. Well, we, that's why we, we, we spatchcocked it one year, because I was yeah. like, it's going to cook quicker. I don't know, maybe I'll try to... I don't think I've done a... Have I done a smoked turkey? I don't think I have. I maybe. think that would take longer, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. I want to get one of those, like, one of those uh, electric smokers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you asked about favorite dessert. Yeah, what's your favorite dessert? Um, it's a variation on pumpkin pie because oh. I don't really like pumpkin pie. Mm. But you use pumpkin pie. Uh, but again, it's like it's brown sugar. You use pumpkin pie, but you throw it away. Yeah, and then you use and then you make an apple pie, chocolate cream pie. And then, <laughs> chocolate cream pie is really good too. Um, I would say that it's it's this. Um, we we call it a pumpkin crunch, and okay. it's like a pumpkin pie. Um, it's made on a yellow cake. Uh, there's yellow cake bits in it. Actually. Oh yeah. It's not like yeah. necessarily like on top of that, right. but like it's inside of it. Okay. Um, cause it's all kind of mixed together. Okay. Um, and then topped with, um, with pecans. Oh yeah. And so it's just, yeah, I think just really tasty pumpkin pie top of the, I've and made so much butter. 
Oh, everything is butter. Thanksgiving, and it's just butter. My kids would just eat a tablespoon of butter. Just plain. Same. I don't understand it. Not me, my kids. It's disgusting. I mean, I guess it's close to cheese. <sighs> Look, I I I'm not, not going to judge because I love butter. Well, I love butter too, but maybe I'll try it. I don't know that I could eat it plain. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. See what they see what the big fuss is. I'm going to do it now. Let's do it now. So, shot of butter. <laughs> I do. I'll, I've done sweet potato pie. That I like yeah. really good with pecans, yeah. with ca- uh, candied pecans. Oh, on top. man. Yeah. I just remembered, though, <clears throat> maybe my favorite Thanksgiving dessert that I ever had, ever, ever, down in New Orleans. Nolens. 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 Nola. <laughs> we had. We had a pecan pie huh. with chocolate chips. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was fantastic. I'm so glad it thinks never. I've never right found now. it. I've never found it. Really? Just make it. I've never found it. Yeah. I've met. You know what it should be? It should This year, you know what mm-hmm. I should do? No. It should be the, the uh, all-star game of Thanksgiving dishes. Like all, all, all the best. All the best ones we've had over the years. Creamed corn with paprika on it. Oh. Yeah. I do like creamed corn. Yeah. Yeah, you spice it up a little bit, with dude. Me. I made oh, so many things to say. Okay, I mean, and then and then what's the other all star pieces? Well, it would be the deep fried turkey for sure. Yeah, it would be the gravy with the grease bits in it. Absolutely, for sure. So like you've got to cook another turkey that you're not going to eat. That you're just going to throw away. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> just for the gravy. <laughs> just for the gravy. Oh my gosh. No, what you do is you have your neighbor like, hey, I need some. I need your grease. grease. <laughs> Give me your grease. It would be, uh, you know, pumpkin pie with the pecans on it. I love yeah. that idea. Yeah. Um, the stuffing I made last year was fantastic. Mm-hmm. It just had a lot of stuff in it. <laughs> uh, yeah, a good gravy. I like. Gra- oh, good gravy. A good. Gra- <laughs> I like a good gravy. <laughs> I do make it gluten free because so everyone can have it. Right. Dude, I could talk forever about food. Okay, so we made it all the way through those pieces. But what are, like green beans? Do you gr- do green beans? Green bean casserole. I don't usually make it. Okay, Chris. You know we have the uh, croissant rolls, and everybody everybody makes cranberry sauce, but nobody likes it. We. Just, I think the best cranberry sauce out there is the one that comes in a can. I, it's like got the shape of yeah, the <laughs> yes, can around like, it. Yes. Did you just dump this onto a plate? Yes. I did. Uh-huh. But I cut it in slices yes, that are too slice thick. It up. Yeah, I sliced it too thick. <laughs> where like you missed the hump of the can, you know, so you can still see <laughs> there's like a hump of the there's can. There's still come, like a couple yeah. ridges in yeah, there. Yeah, there's a uh-huh. ridge in it. You're yeah. Like, yeah, I love that. I want the one give me the one with the ridge, please. I don't want yes. the divot. I do not want the divot. I want the ridge. No uh-huh. divot. Give me the ridge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I actually like that stuff typically mm-hmm. better than the other Absolutely. cranberry sauce. With yeah. Yeah, I don't know what it is, and it's kind of funny because cranberries, like, yeah. And like it's, yeah, like I it's like sour. cranberries, but then the cranberry sauce, you're like, what the heck? Yeah, how did we ruin this? I don't know, but that marshmallow thing has cranberries in it, mm-hmm. so that's good. Yeah, um, no, that's right. We'll do egg. No, we do eggs. Not Easter. Eggs? That's Easter. Hard boiled eggs? No, we don't do that. That's Easter. Okay. You know what I like is like a party platter. Like a charcuterie like dips, board? Yeah, like charcuterie, dips, veggies, and, and good dips. Just really the dips. You like, you like I dips? I love the dips. <laughs> Give me the dips. You're like uh, Martin Short's character. And only murders in the building? <laughs> He's always I'm a dip, dip. I'm a dip guy. I'm a dip guy. I would be a dip guy if I... I need to buy more dips. Maybe I'm going to do that tomorrow. Yeah. What are you going to... Oh, so you going to do that? You're going to host this year again? <sighs> I mean, at this for point, your family. <laughs> at this point, I better know. At this point, as it's released, I, I hope I better know what's happening. You know, I don't know. I think I think it's just gonna be it's gonna be a little bit different without my mom around. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, but we'll see. I think it's probably gonna be, um, it's probably gonna be with family for sure. I would imagine well, it would be weird if you didn't have any family I, and it was just like just you and some strangers. I what's wrong with you? Not strange. I would love. I like. I think. Thanksgiving to me, like I get that it's a family thing. Yeah, I would love it if it became a friend thing. Like, yeah, you know, a family, a family thing. Yeah, because cool. like you guys are like family. I would love to oh, like totally. spend Thanksgiving. You're with you saying I could sleep in your basement, one hundred, and it wouldn't be weird. Oh, it would be weird, but you could okay, do, yeah. still do it. Well, I do sleep in the nude. <laughs> well, I've got news for you. 
You do as well. Party time. Hopefully. What did I tell you about this? I really. Sorry. <laughs> if we ever like travel together and like are sharing a hotel room, yeah. we got to make sure we don't sleepwalk. Because that's just going to be awkward. You know, we've shared two uh, naked dudes walking. Sleeping sleep arrangements. Yeah, yeah, but you were in a separate room. So True. sleepwalking, you run into the door and smack your face. That was like one of our first experiences. I know. Was that together. awkward for you? Were you nervous? I wasn't nervous at all. No. I wasn't either. It was like we've been friends for years. I know. But we've really only known each other for like... I know. A year. It's kind of funny. Two years, maybe. Yeah. It is kind of funny. Well, this episode is long. But it's Thanksgiving. We're you still know thankful. what? What are you thankful for? I'm I'm really I, honestly like I'm grateful for my friends. Yeah, me too. I'm really grateful for my friends. Yeah, and uh, and for our, our church family. And, yeah, church. Um, yeah, just really grateful for family. That. Yeah, friends. Yeah, the stout. Very, very much so. The, the chair. So, okay, now you're just naming things. That patch up the carpet. <laughs> I really like that patch of carpet. I'm glad you finished the rest of the sentence. <laughs> I didn't just point and say, I'm thankful for that. <laughs> Those of you just listening, I was pointing at the crotch. spot. Well, it's near the crotchal region, but it's where he spilled the beer. It's like right below his crotch. But I was like, I'm thankful for that. And then I moved it down to the floor because in my head I'm going, I can't say. I'm thankful for that. I'm th- <laughs> So you went from sleeping, sleepwalking in the nude, sharing a hotel room, to being thankful <laughs> for each other's pour, crotches. Pouring at each other's crotches. <laughs> whiskey bits. Hey, I'm thankful for the whiskey bits. And the cocoa nibs. And the cocoa. Oh, my gosh. we got to get you a, like a, a speak and spell or something. I'm going to get you a speak and spell for Christmas. I would appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Speaking of speak and spell, well, go Happy find yourself some Bourbon County Stout yeah. this um, Black Friday. This Black Friday at your local liquor store, uh, especially if you're in the Chicagoland area, I'm sure you'll be able to find some. Yeah, find it, find it, drink it, enjoy it, enjoy it with some friends because it's pretty strong. Yeah, and it's all about that gravy. It is all about. Please that put gravy. The, the, the 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 drippings in your gravy, okay? Yes, please put it in there, and be thankful for your friends and. Oh, <laughs> and the bump. <laughs> Adios, Phil. Until next time. Bye, Matt. I can't wait for the Christmas episode. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Next time on Whiskey Bits. You know, as we're getting close to the end of our first year of doing these episodes, I'm excited for what 2025 has to hold and for the conversations we're going to have mm-hmm. um, and and the guests we're going to have on, I, I think. Oh, I'm so excited. I think finally, like, we, I, you know, I'm going to be able to get to a point where I can actually, like, lock these guys down because we've got some good potentials coming up. Yeah. So, no, I'm really excited about that, getting down to the Bourbon Trail and meeting up with some yeah. people that we've made connections with at different uh, different events and different phone calls and different you know different connections that we've had like I think mm-hmm. it'd be great to you know kind of re- reconnect with them and and uh, and have some fun down on the Bourbon Trail as kind of like the celebration of our and, first year of yeah. podcasting right? and maybe I get another Nevis removed who knows <laughs> maybe we remove all the Nevises I, yeah I'm you can I'm, get some removed I'm looking for Nevises to get taken off so. I'll I'm not gonna help you but ask Amy I'm sure no, she'll, she'll, she'll probably she'll already know she's like. Mm. Hey, thanks for tuning in to Whiskey Bits. Please like, share, and subscribe wherever you watch or listen to podcasts.